Hello friends, welcome back to another Combini haul. I hope you guys are excited because this is my very first haul at Lawson's. I get asked pretty often like why I only favor 7-Eleven. <laughs> And it's because 7-Eleven is actually very, very convenient for me to get to. I can walk or ride my bike to like four or five of them. But Lawson's and Family Mart are a little bit further away from me. I have to drive to get to them. I'm kind of remembering why I haven't been to a Lawson's in my town because they're so far away from my house. It took me like 12 minutes to get here and I got lost along the way. I am going to make a conscious effort to include all of the Combini stores that I can in my hauls a little bit more often. January 15th is what Lawson's since is calling strawberry day and they posted a photo with all of these really interesting strawberry snacks unique things that you could only find at Lawson's on their strawberry day now just a little fun fact for you guys it's why January 15th is strawberry day the Japanese word for strawberry is ichigo number one in Japanese is ichi and number five in Japanese is go so ichigo is strawberry and then one five is ichi and go but don't get it confused because the way that you say 15 in Japanese is ju go. That's why they chose Strawberry Day as January 15th. Where a lot of other places in Japan celebrated Strawberry Day as January 5th. Because January is the first month ichi and the fifth day is go. I don't know. I don't know if I lost you guys on that or not or if, or if I was like really bad at explaining it but that is why we are making this video today at Lawson's trying a few of the strawberry snacks that I saw on their Instagram. In case you're wondering, yes 100% of the time I feel like a crazy foreigner filming at the convenience store. Before diving into the strawberry part of this video, I obviously have to show you the inside of Lawson's. Now, just keep in mind, this is not my first time going into a Lawson's, but it is my first time filming one for my actual channel. It looks just like a very normal combini or convenience store here, but they do have a lot more of their own branded products like drinks, frozen food, snacks, chips, all of it. So if you guys want a whole video dedicated to Lawson's, leave a comment below and I can definitely make that happen. Oh, it's the last one. So it must be meant to be. Gosh, the lady in there was so cute. She was like, do you like strawberries? So I was like, yes. <laughs> Today's hot topic is strawberries. And what I love about Japan is that they really like to celebrate different seasons, fruit and vegetables that come and go throughout the year. If you want strawberries, you can only find them during strawberry season. Now you're probably wondering like why strawberries are so special in Japan. And if you guys watched any of my Christmas vlogs, then you know that in Japan, it's traditional to eat a strawberry Christmas cake. And that really kicks off the beginning of strawberry season here in Japan. Strawberry season in Japan is fairly long. We're very, very lucky. We get it for six months out of the year. It is from December to June. So December to April, all of the strawberries are grown in greenhouses. And then May to June, they are grown outdoors. And you can go strawberry picking and harvesting and things like that. And Japan is actually really famous for their strawberries, which a lot of people don't know. They are like the perfect strawberry. And they're also very, very expensive for the most part. A lot of times you go to the grocery store and a small thing of strawberries with maybe five or six of them is like nine to 10 US dollars. Sometimes you can find them for five US dollars, but definitely the more expensive ones are the juicier, tastier ones in my opinion. There's also a one of a kind, extremely world famous, well maybe not world famous because if I'm telling you for the first time then you would not know, but there's white strawberries grown in the Saga prefecture. And I have not tried them yet. I've been trying to find them and see them and I just can't find them anywhere but when I do find them I will definitely try them and make a video about it. This is the first one I'm going to try. This is what the translation says on the Lawson's Instagram account. Pink is cute, moist strawberry bread. The strawberry cream with sweet strawberry is delicious. And this was 140 yen, which is a little bit less than one US dollar. Now the smell of this is very, very strong. It kind of reminds me of the smell of like a strawberry yogurt. You can tell that there's definitely like real strawberries in this. I can see all of the seeds. So let's go ahead and try it. I wanna show you an up close look at the bite we're committing to. 
Actually, I want to lick the inside. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like a strawberry custard. Had a baby with jelly. Mm. I don't want to say it's like basic because it's very flavorful and it doesn't taste like artificial strawberries. Like you can tell there's like real strawberry in that. It's definitely more along the lines. Like I said, it looks like a custard and it really tastes like a custard. But still nice and light and sweet and it's just like a nice little sweet bread it is very very good i think that would be really tasty with a cup of tea i'm really excited to try this strawberry milk with tapioca in it and you can totally see like little pieces of strawberry inside they use real strawberries in their products which always blows my mind because it is like a convenience store and this would not really happen back home in the states where i am from shake 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 This is my favorite sound. Mm. I'm expecting it to taste very mild and fresh. Like if I were to go downstairs and blend milk and strawberries, that's what I'm expecting this to taste like. Ooh, that's not what it tastes like. Mm. It has like a tanginess to it, like tangy, sweet strawberry that just kind of like bites it's not as creamy as i thought it would be it's kind of like watery but not in a bad way at all like i'm kind of glad it's not heavy if that makes sense tapioca strawberry milk with fruit it's a sweet and sour deliciousness with three kinds of berry juice of strawberry raspberry and black currant oh that explains why i kind of had that like little tanginess to it because it tastes like fruity but you know when you have like a blackberry but it still, it was very forward in the strawberry. So yeah, that description I would say is very, very accurate. And yeah, I, I would get this many times again. Now we're trying new product of popular sticky texture roll, which is mochi. The new release of rice cake wrapped with rice cake roll, strawberry miruku is now on sale strawberry jam that can feel the strawberry cream and the fruit is often available i love little translations loss in standard price is 380 yen about three dollars and sixty cents usd i feel like this is a pretty decent size like one two three four five six there's six slices so i feel like you could share this with friends like on a little picnic or something or just have it with some tea the mochi is really really soft i think that this is such an aesthetic and beautiful little cake happiness not sad i don't know how to explain how good the whipped cream here is i'm very impressed with lawson's so far basically it tastes like they took fresh strawberry whipped cream with a little bit of strawberry jam and wrapped it in a pancake with mochi on the outside so it's very soft and delicate and very like chewy in a good way and then the whipped cream just melts you can totally tell that this is like very my mouth is still salivating. It's just very, very fresh. Like it tastes like it's from a fresh bakery. It tastes gourmet to me. Unless I just don't have like very refined taste buds, but you know. <laughs> now we're trying the strawberry yogurt drink. I don't know how this is going to be. Let me see what the description says. November 26th. So this has been around for a while. So I don't really know how much longer they'll have it on their shelves. But the description says the Bifrost bacteria drink yogurt strawberry that can reach the intestines. I'm glad that I can drink something easy to drink with my body. Is this going to make me feel weird later? I and mean, obviously we know yogurt has bacteria in it. And I'm not like a health professional. So I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. But yeah, so I'm assuming... Um, they're gearing this towards like your gut health or something. I don't really know, but we're gonna try it. Mm. Why does it taste like potato chips? Is there something in here I don't know about? Let me show you what the color looks like. It's just like a liquidy yogurt. Um, I would not get this again. It has like a funkiness to it. 
that I can't explain. Like a ranch dip or something. I don't... I don't like that very much. I'm going to finish it though because it has pieces of real strawberry in it. Which I do applaud, but it has like a stanky taste to it. So I don't, I don't really like this. I saved the one I was most excited for for last. And this one is, oh, I thought it was going to be chocolate. I shouldn't have read the review. So it says it's going to be red bean paste and strawberry miruku crispy sandwich. The combination of crispy pie dough, cream, red bean paste, and a fresh strawberry is perfect. The pie fabric is too crispy, so it's easy to get a piece of pieces. So please enjoy it while holding a box of packages. Oh, okay, I understand now. And it says that they're sorry they don't sell this in Okinawa. 285 yen, which is about $2.70 USD. Now the directions according to their Instagram say to eat it in the box because it's going to, it's supposed to be really crispy so it'll fall in there. And then, um, so it has like this cute little display thing, but, um, you can take this off so it's easier to eat and enjoy. Now I do want to show you the inside because, duh. So there's the whipped cream and the bean paste and then the fresh strawberry. Mmm. This lipstick is Revlon and it's doing a real great job staying on throughout this. Period. I wish the red bean paste was a little more forward. The strawberry was super juicy and just perfect. Um, this was not as crispy as they said it would be, but it's not, it's not bad or anything. Like I'm, I'm disappointed the red bean paste wasn't more forward and I'm disappointed that the crust wasn't crispier. It's still great. I would get this again. I think the mochi was my favorite and so was this. So if you happen to see a Lawson's and you can go for Strawberry Day, um, check out their Instagram. They posted like a ton of new things on there. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up my Lawson's Strawberry Haul. I hope that you guys had just as much fun as I did. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and do that already. I'll go ahead and link a few videos that I think you guys would also enjoy in the description. And if there's anything that you wanna see this next year, just leave video requests in the comments. I'll see you guys soon. Shamata.